hi guys and welcome back to my channel the sun is going down and it's clouding over so I really want to get through this quick as you can tell in the title below this is going to be my monthly favorites this is going to be my monthly favorites why can I not say that this is going to be my monthly favorites Tune in later because this makeup look shall be making an appearance on the interwebs sometime soon. So I'm not going to ramble too much in this video and I'm just going to get straight into it. So one of my first favourites for the month is my NARS foundation. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Punjab. I purchased this when I went to Australia. I hauled it um, and I've only just started wearing it now. I... Don't know why, I don't have an explanation. I guess I just had so many foundations on the go that I kind of just didn't really get to try this bad guy out. Well, not bad guy, it's a good guy. Um, perfect wear. It's definitely not, uh, I wouldn't say like a full-on dewy foundation. It is definitely more of like a semi uh, foundation. It stays on perfect coverage. Definitely is not sheer, so none of this makes sense for its name, basically. My next favourite is another makeup item and this is my Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Lid Primer. I'm not sure if I've men mentioned this in a favourites before but I absolutely love this for prepping my eyes for eyeshadow. I tend to have very oily eyelids and they oil up really really fast um, so I definitely like to wear this when I have no eyeshadow on because even still um, it conceals a lot of the discoloration and veins and stuff that I have uh, on like my eyelid area so this is definitely always a staple for me um, it's a really dry and sort of texture I find it's quite uh, chalk like so I don't know if that's what everybody else thinks but I feel like it is very dry so it's really good at keeping the sort of moisture at bay on your eyelids um, that's pretty gross that you've got moist eyelids <laughs> Yeah, I just said that on the internet. <laughs> Another favourite of mine is a brush, and this brush is not clean whatsoever, which is kind of disgusting, but I guess it just goes to show how much I love it. I have actually used it today to do my contour, and it just gives a really nice uh, buffed out, but still quite strong contour. I feel like contouring was my biggest pet peeve in makeup. I didn't feel like I could do it that well, but this brush just makes it so easy and it's got a, like a tapered off dome. So it fits really nicely into the cheekbone hollows and yeah, and it, it's fluffy and dense enough that it picks on the product, but it's fluffy enough that it blends it out at the same time. So I really love this. It's my Zoeva 2 126 Luxe Cheek finish brush. So my next favourite is a hair care item and it's a bit gross because it's straight out of the shower and it is my Joyco K-Pack conditioner. Now I only use the conditioner, I have a full litre of my Wella Moisture uh, shampoo and I ran out of the like the litre size of the conditioner so I needed a conditioner and I know that uh, Shanexo completely raves on and on and on and on and on about this so I thought well, I'll give it a go. It's definitely a different texture than what I'm used to using as a conditioner. It's a very thin, very lightweight. It's not like a heavy cream. Like when you put it into your hair you think oh that's not really going to do much moisturising. Um, but it does the job. It keeps my hair nice and light. Like it doesn't weigh it down. I find if I use a really nice like moisturising conditioner it makes my hair go really oily really quickly, whereas this, um, it doesn't. It is the K-Pack conditioner to repair damaged uh, hair. A Bio Advanced Peptide Complex. So, daily conditioner fortifies, reconstructs and strengthens damaged hair, smooth detangles and eliminates static, colour safe, and it just says... This one here only says to leave it for a minute. I like to leave mine for probably about five minutes after I shave and wash myself and whatnot. Um, but no, I really love this. This smells quite different. Um, I don't know. It smells different. I uh, don't know what to put my finger on it. Since we are in the mode of being in the shower, I thought I would share this bad boy. Um, I don't know if you can get this worldwide, but I know for a fact that you can get things exactly like it everywhere. And this is the Libra Get Fresh Body Wash. 
This is a body wash that you can use all over your body, but it is specifically targeted for your lady bits. Um, or men bits. I don't men could probably just use it too. This is a low pH level, gentle enough for the intimate areas. So this is a fufu wash. Um, I picked this up not because I have any issues with other soaps. I've never really had an issue with getting thrush or any irritation or whatever from using a actual soap down on the below. Um, I tend to avoid full on soaping up that area because I know that the pH in the soap is not very good for us. Libra Get Fresh Wash is ideal for women who want to feel their best every day. This all over body wash is gentle enough to use on your intimate areas to help keep you feel fresh. Um, this smells really really nice like like sweetie lollies sort of thing. Um, I absolutely love it. It's nice and gentle. Um, you can use it all over your body but I specifically just use it for those areas just so that you feel nice and fresh for the day. My next item is my Clarisonic Mia and I got this um, as a present from my best friend Rachel. So thanks Rach. We have actually matching ones. Um, this is just the Clarisonic Mia so it's just got the standard on off button. Don't know if you can hear that but it vibrates. And it just the brush uh, vibrates and it's a sonic cleanser. I have been using this now since December and I have definitely noticed a difference in my skin. Um, I feel lucky enough that I didn't go through what was considered the purging stage where people were getting huge breakouts and you know like cystic acne or a lot of breakouts and stuff like that. Um, this does amazing for my very like deep pore areas which is along my t-zone and my nose. Um, this just it's amazing I did the whole like I originally did my face care regime um, and then I went over again with this and the amount of makeup that came out of my pores was absolutely disgusting to think that I sleep on that. Uh, face wash on the brush wet my face and then I just go all over my face um, it does have it shuts off automatically um, so you know when to sort of stop scrubbing so I just like to focus it more on the areas that I have difficulty so I like to take it along my jawline um, across my nose and my t-zone um, through there and I don't really focus too much on like the tops of my cheeks or the sides of my forehead because those areas tend to get quite dry and flaky for me so I don't like to over exfoliate those areas. Um, I don't find this to be too harsh on my skin. I feel like my skin's quite durable. You could just slap it around and, and it would be fine. So yeah, I highly recommend this. And um, They do have different sorts of heads for them. So if you are more sensitive, I would suggest maybe getting that sensitive um, brush head. Because uh, this is just the standard and it might be a bit too harsh on your poor wee skin. Um, and then that could be a reason why you're breaking out tremendously. My next favourite is a clothing item and I don't think I've ever shown anything clothing here on my channel. Um, and these are just a pair of, I guess you would call these leggings. Um, these are a pair of navy blue type, I like leggings, like a thick legging. They're not your normal legging that you'd have to put, you know, cover your butt because it's see through. This is quite a thick material. This is from the brand um, Freddy and these are the WR Up, I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't go Rrr Up, so it's the WR Up um, pant and this is the fashion pant, so these are what they look like, so these are just a basic navy blue, I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the lighting but these are just a navy blue legging pant um so these are cult crazy all over uh instagram and facebook um known for the stitch stitching pattern now i'm not sure if you're actually gonna be able to see 
I'm not sure if you can see that. But basically they have a stitching underneath the bottom that just goes right underneath and it just flatters um, people with natural curves. The stitching along the seam through, through the butt crack um, is also cinched in so again it's just sort of exaggerating what you already have or maybe if you do have a bit of something but it's not just really like shaped properly if you find it hard to find a pant a pant that actually flatters your behind the pockets also have a half moon circle which that again just helps accentuate your curves um, the back it dips into a V so it comes into a point there um, just so it, sort of like you know giving you what appears to be that like apple bottom I guess. The front is just a basic um, pant. Uh, the, they are all fake pockets so that's one downside. Um, it has the wee label on the back here. It's just a wee metal emblem. So if the quality is really, really nice. Like the material is really, really, really nice. So I am going to be ordering in some of the jeans because I really, really did like the these pants. And so, um, yeah, you might be seeing them coming up. And I know that I'm pretty sure that they are definitely a jean material. So that is all for my monthly favourites for the month of March. I can't believe it is March already. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me down in the comments. Let me down in the com Let me know down in the comments what your monthly favourites were this month and what you think I should check out. There are a couple of new beauty items that I've been sussing out that I really want to try. So leave me a comment down below. I love talking to you guys down there. I hope you guys have enjoyed your day or you will enjoy the day to come. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.